All right, guys, so in the last video, we got our, our HUD, our heads-up display uh, to work. It looks pretty good, but I think we can make it look a little bit cooler. So right now, uh, under question, it just shows like one of three here. But uh, it's a little bit neater, a little bit uh, more fun to have a progress bar so you can kind of see your percentage as you go through. So that's what we're going to do in this video. And just so you can see what it looks like, uh, it's going to look something like this. So we're going to have our question. Uh, we're actually going to show one of five up here and then have the progress bar just kind of fill up as you go through and answer questions. So it'll kind of fill up there. So that's what we're going to do. And the way this works is we're going to have an outside div, which is this kind of empty rectangle. And then we'll have a div that sits right on top of it and just kind of gets bigger and bigger based on the percentage of question that you're on. So that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and dive in and do it. So inside of our game HTML, we're going to change out this, Let's see, we're gonna change out the H1 here, which uh, used to be the question counter text. We're going to update uh, this P tag up top to say, uh, to give it an ID of progress. Ah, I don't know why that import is doing that. ID of progress text. So that's gonna be the, the word question. And then we're actually gonna uh, show the, the number combination there. But then after that, we want to have a div with an ID of progress bar. Inside of progress bar, we'll have a something with a class of progress bar full. Now this inner div is basically gonna be the thing that shows how far, how much progress we've made. So it's gonna show how full this bar is. So we've got this in our HTML. What's, what error are we getting here? Look at our console, inner text. Okay, so since we've gotten rid of uh, in here, we're setting the inner text of, where is that? Of our question counter text. This is now going to be our progress text. So we just want to update that. So this one is gonna be progress text. And we're gonna get it by the progress text ID. And down here, we don't wanna reference question counter text. We wanna reference progress text. So you can see that works. We're actually gonna add on a question here too, just so it's kind of obvious what it is. So let's just say question one of three, and this will update the same way that it used to. Question two of three here, and so on and so on. But now we need to actually style our progress bar. So let's open up uh, the CSS file, and we'll start by working with the uh, progress bar. So we'll grab the progress bar uh, by the ID, and we'll say width is gonna be 20 rem, and then height is gonna be four rem. So it's gonna be 200 pixels by 40 pixels high. You don't really see anything yet, so let's do a border of 0 0.3 rem, solid, and then we'll use our blue color, uh, which is 56A5EB. So now we should see this kind of laid out here. That's our, that's our top box, right? That's our original box. And uh, now we want to uh, work on the inner bar. So let's get our progress bar full. And actually this could probably be, let's grab, let's do this by ID as well. So let's change this to an ID and go in our HTML and change that there as well. So progress bar full and make this an ID instead of a class. So our progress bar full uh, let's say the height is going to be 3.4 rem. The background color is going to match uh, the background or the border color of the uh, of the container of the parent of the progress bar itself. All right, so you can see by default the inner div, the progress bar full, went ahead and filled up the uh, progress bar parent uh, div. And so the way we're gonna do our percentages to show progress is just to set the width property. It's actually pretty simple. So if I set this to 50%, this fills up 50% of the bar, which is pretty good. So that's what we're gonna work with. Uh, let's go into, let's start, this is gonna need to start at 0%, so we'll do that. And then let's go into our JavaScript and we'll want to get a reference to our progress bar full. All right, so we've got, we got the inner item. And basically every time we increment our question, now we want to uh, update the progress bar. And again, the, the way we're gonna do that is just, just by setting the uh, width property on that progress bar 
super simple, pretty straightforward, uh, but actually has a pretty cool effect. So what we're gonna do is uh, grab the progress bar full. We will do uh, style and then uh, do width. So style is how you can change basically any of your CSS properties. And what we'll do in here is uh, basically, actually before we do that, let's just uh, log out so I can show you what we're gonna do. Uh, question counter divided by max questions. Okay, so let's look at the console here. So to start off, this will print out 0 0.333. Uh, when we go to the next one, it'll be 0 0.6666. So what we actually wanna do is take this, this whole thing that we just did. Did I close it out instead? Take this whole thing that we just did and then multiply it times 100 to get a percent. If I add another parenthesis, all right, so that's gonna give us 33.333%. And uh, we can take this whole thing, and let's get rid of the log, and we can set the width property to, to that number. So what this is gonna do is gonna take question counter, which starts out at one. Uh, it's going to divide by the max number of questions, which is three in this case. So one divided by three is 0.333, and then multiply times 100. So if I save this, uh, we might expect to see this updating here, let's see, uh, we might ex expect to see the updating, but it's not quite. So what's going on is uh, this actually needs to be a value in pixels. So we can do our uh, back ticks like this, and we can say that we want to evaluate this expression. So that whole thing, so question counter divided by max questions times 100, we can evaluate that whole thing and then add on uh, pixels at the end and we are missing looks like I need to move this uh, this parenthesis inside so I think that's gonna do it so we should see when we start off we'll see a third it looks like a little bit less than a third all right looks like there's something we're missing here so let's grab the progress bar full it's saying oh this is <laughs> not pixels we actually want this to be percent so instead of pixels this will be percent and then now uh, that should look like a third. This should look like two thirds and this should look like three thirds. So this gives a pretty obvious way for the user to see that they are on their, on their last question, on their first question, so on and so on. One thing I don't like here is I think there should be a little bit of padding at the top of our progress bar or margin. So let's do a margin top and we'll do this uh, one rim, 10 pixels, push that down just a little bit and maybe is that line up now? with our score, maybe we could do 1.5, push it down a little bit more. Let's go all the way to two rims. So now I think these look a little bit, a little bit better together. Actually, I think 1.5 looked best. <laughs> so uh, we've got our progress bar working, which is pretty sweet. Uh, in the next video, we're actually going to go ahead and create our end screen where we're going to have to save the user's score save it into local storage. So we're gonna work with local storage and we're gonna work with arrays in local storage and then figure out an algorithm of whether or not their high score actually makes the top five list. So that's what we're gonna do in the next video. Hope you guys are enjoying it and I'll see you there.